Good afternoon. It is Monday, the 8th of November, unless your name is Chris Kesling. Um, welcome to the Mycroft DevSync. Um, as is tradition, Mr. Schwebe, would you like to tell us what's going on? Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, so I've been working um, on a couple of things uh, GUI related for the boot sequence. Um, so I have that ready to talk about tomorrow. Uh, just a quick mock-up of you know how we wanted to deal with all these um, loading screens and uh, even kind of looked at what kind of revisited what we'd ideally like to have going over the, the grub um, boot sequence and all that. Um, and then starting to unpack some of these uh, additional um, things that we'd like to, to add to the Wi-Fi setup for um, kind of for the error states and stuff that we're missing at this point, you know, like what happens when um, you lose connection or if you put in your credentials wrong, those types of things. So that's what I have to. I've also just been doing some, um, over the weekend I did a little bit of, of work on the, um, the hardware uh we should i think i mentioned friday we should be getting new spins new boards um sent out tomorrow hopefully um and there'll be 10 of those with the new orientation that we we've been talking about for the ports <laughs> so that's me the man with the new digs mr gesling what's up Good morning. Um, yeah, I moved over the weekend and have been getting stuff set up. Um, so not a huge amount to report. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, really, that's it. <laughs> so honestly, um, uh, oh, they, they, I am interested in the, um, uh, there's been a little bit of chatter about how we select which QML to show um, for different devices. So um, I feel like that's the concrete step that's gonna come out of, well, one of the concrete steps that come out of the, the dev chatter um, over the last week. Um, and I know that it, like, it is something that we talked to Blue Systems about um, that I remember got raised you know, a long time ago, but um, I, yeah, it's been so long since since it got mentioned. I, I have no idea. I can't remember where where it got to. Or um, I need to go in and, and figure out uh, how that works, and you know how a device reports um, determines you know what sort of platform it is. Um, uh, but I guess the idea is that then the the device can say, you know, I'm a I'm a mobile phone or you know, I'm a, I'm a Microsoft Mark II or I'm a giant TV um, and then, you know, serve me the appropriate uh, QML based on that. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, I believe it has advantages over, you know, having, you know, that logic in a, in a bunch of conditionals within the skill, but I need to look into it. Yeah, I'm not convinced that the file selector thing is definitely the way to go. I understand why Aditya's passionate about it, but um, yeah, I want to make an educated decision about it. Yeah. yeah, I want to understand yeah, what, what the pros are. Yeah. yeah, and I think one of the limitations to it is um, one of the reasons I did the weather skill differently is there's some um, screens that aren't scalable, don't have scalable versions yet, um, or are very different and it wouldn't fit into that. I mean, the, that file selector thing assumes overrides, right? It assumes you have a, a default and you have something overriding a default. And I'm not sure that's always going to be the case. Right. All right. Let me and think. The product remains the same, and all that other jazz. So I'm not. Again, I'm not. I'm not sold on it yet. I understand that it's a cool way, um, but at the end of the day, you're still saying, "If I'm this, then do this." It's just maybe a cooler way to do it. I guess. Mm. <laughs> I mean, something's still got to be saying, "Hey, pick these Mark II files," right? Does that mean, anyway, I, I don't want to unpack it in, in yeah, a Yeah, that's time. fine. That's, you that's, and I can talk about it more later. Yeah, yeah, um, but that's that's interesting. Um, 
Cool. Yeah, I, I just don't think it's the a magic solution. I think it's might be. Anyway, we'll, we'll. I'm sure more to come on that particular discussion topic. Well, it might be a question of like, is there a default way that we do things, and then if we have a need to do something different, do we take a different approach? You know, in those certain circumstances. Um, but, yeah, I think another interesting question is too. Is what's the what? What do we consider default? I mean, these guys are are saying the scalable should be default, but technically we don't even support that. So why, you know, something should be should something really be a default? That's something that you know if, if someone asks us a question about, we may not may or may not be able to answer. I, I'm not sure. I like that idea either. Uh, anyway, it might also be how you define default. You know, it's like as a like. You know, in some ways, default can be a fallback, whereas in other ways, default can be like the first. You know, you know, if you've got a, an, an ordered queue, it's the first one. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, that's all from me. All right, Mr. Smith. So uh, I have been working on the alarm skill. It's uh, a lot different and behaves a lot different than. Last time I touched it five and a half months ago or so. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on with it. I fixed the um, the issue with the naming. Um, that was a uh, regex file change that I suspect I had fixed once before, but it never made it up. But uh, now it's not getting <coughs> into its converse method. And it seems like almost all the utterances it would expect in converse are getting picked up by somebody before it. So it seems like there's a bunch of intents that are getting matched before the alarm skill gets a chance to hit its converse method, which is interesting. So I'll be digging into that. Um, but then this one's got a bunch of new intents and stuff too. So but that's what I'm working on, the alarm skill uh, and uh, that ticket that uh, we had. I, I also noticed that there was a call to the Roman numeral stuff in converse before, but that's not there anymore. And I'm indeed getting Roman numerals back for ordinals. If I say the first, the second, the third, whatever, I get an I, 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 I. Uh, so that's an obvious reason it's not working, but there's other issues there. So, so that's what I'm working on and uh, will be obvious, it looks like, for the next day or so. All right. Uh, for me, I was all over the place today. Um, had a hiring discussion with Dwayne and Michael. Um, just kind of walking through Breezy and seeing what the pain points are. Um, talking about you know how to manage our queue better because there's there's probably a hundred applicants in there. It's just <laughs> a lot of them are stuck in the pain points of breezy. The pain points of breezy are using greasy. <laughs> yeah, it's well that that's just a learning curve. Right? I don't think it's a terrible tool. I think it's just you know you're learning to use it effectively for us. Um, I also went through the uh, the the. Uh, hot item sprint and um, guys, I think I left a couple notes for you on a couple of tickets. Um, I spent some time on um, the documentation that we've been talking about with the activities and the events. Not quite there yet, but I've changed direction like three times. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's taken a little while longer than I thought it would. Um, Oh, yeah, I was looking into the whole um, you know, GUI stuff um, and how we handle that and why trying to, to trying to figure out how to communicate why we chose to do things the way we did. Um, yeah, so that's that's it so far. I'm going to have a little more work to do tonight and tomorrow. Um, I think I will probably continue on that spec document. I want to get that out of my hands and into the community's hands soon, so that I can I can um, move forward with that. That's about it for me. Anything else we want to talk about? Guys, if you have a free minute after this, I wouldn't mind chatting with you for a minute. Yeah, sure. All right, let's call it. Adios. Have a good evening, fellas. Talk to you tomorrow.
See ya. See everybody tomorrow.